So let's create something a little bit more complex and useful at the same time. Let's do this. We'll have fx equals fx. So what this is doing is it's taking in a function f and a value x and it's outputting the function applied to x. So you can understand this function in two different ways. The first one being that it takes in two arguments, which the first one would be the function a arrow b, and the second one being the value a to output a result b. The second way you can think of it is that it only takes in one argument, which would be the a arrow b, and then it would output a second function that would be a arrow b. This is to do with partial application. And because of partial application, we can assign a function to be in the place of the f. So if we create our incrementing function from before, we can now take that function and apply it to the f in the previous function. So if we do app inc, what that's doing is it's storing the function x equals x plus 1 in place of the f in the app function above. Something to remember when doing partial application is that any information you apply to the function, it will take up the leftmost argument first. So as we've put in the inc function in the app function, it is taking the f place. So if we add in another variable, it'll go into the x place. So if we now do it1, that'll go into the x, which will then go into the inc function and it should increment it by 1. So that is the first function taking in a function and a value and outputting the result. Another way you can use the app function above is simply to specify all the arguments all at once instead of using partial application. So if we did app and then we did inc, which is now in the place of the f, and then do say 3 this time, that is the app function taking in an f as inc and then the x would be the 3. So it'll do all the calculations all at once without resulting to partial application. So this should come up as 4. This is higher order functions in its most basic form, taking a function and inputting it into a different function. Of course, there are restrictions to this, where the function you input must match the type that that function requires as an argument. So if the function requires an int as an argument, you cannot give it a function that outputs a real but you can give it any function you want which outputs an int. So to show this without getting too in-depth into higher order functions, we can take our inc function from before and apply an inc function to it in the place of a value. So we can do inc1. That is a function being applied into our inc function. And it works. Comes up as 3. That works because our inc function requires an int as its argument and our inc function outputs an int as well. So now you should have a better understanding of what higher order functions are and what partial application is.